Okay, how to solve a Rubik's 505 cube part 1. Now, if you've seen the introduction to video, you should know that the first thing we have to do is the center. So, first thing, you pick a color you want to start with. I always start with white, so find the center of the color. It doesn't matter what color you start out with, but I always do white for some reason. Um, now what you gotta do is get a 1 by 3 block on the center, either this direction or this direction. And it's pretty simple now everything on the centers is intuitive so the only thing I can really do to help you out is tell you what you got to do and show you well I can turn this up here and I can turn that there so once you have your one by three block you gotta make another one by three block it doesn't really matter where you make it just anywhere but be careful that you're not messing up this one by three block I can turn it there, I have mine, Let's turn it up, now you just need to make another 1x3 block, Let's see, okay, once you have that, just connect it, and you should have your first center done, it's pretty easy to do the first one, the second one's a little harder, but it's still not that hard, now, for the second one, you do the opposite color to the color you started with. Opposite to white would be yellow. If you started with green, it'd be blue. If you started with red, it'd be orange, and etc. And then you want to do another one by three block. Let me just do that. Okay. Oh. There we go. Then you want to do another one by three block. So, basically, the same thing, except come up with the problem here when you're making it you are kind of messing up what you already did so when you turn it up you just turn the top layer at least one time or twice doesn't matter into any direction and then you just bring it back down like that and you should have that and you shouldn't be messing anything up um let's see find another one Okay, now I'm just going to turn it up, and then turn this layer once, and then bring this back down. And once you have your first one by three done, then you need to make another one, which should be pretty easy. Remember, this is all intuitive. Now, you bring it up. Now, here's the problem. If you bring it up and turn it once, you really haven't done anything. In fact, you made it worse. So, what you do for this, you have to bring it up like that and then turn the top layer twice like that and then bring it down and you should not have messed anything up there okay moving on gotta make the last one okay now for the last one it doesn't really work to bring it up and then turn it down twice like that what you gotta do is you gotta put it opposite to where it needs to go since it needs to go there it's opposite and then you just bring it up and then turn it twice and then bring it back down like that pretty simple now if you have the first two done you basically can pick any one on the sides you want to do I'm gonna do blue because it just looks the easiest and I usually just pick the like the fastest or easiest or whatever and then you might well make another one by three be careful you're not messing this stuff up and I started with blue, so I got to make another one by three, as usual. And then you just connect it with the other one, and then the last one. Messed up here. Okay, once you get that done. You gotta either do, do not do opposite to blue. Opposite to blue is a green. Do not do green. Do either red or orange because if you do the opposite, it'd be a little harder. It's not really that much harder, but it's a little harder. I'll do red. So you gotta make another one by three, which again is really easy. And remember, be careful you're messing up. Be careful not to mess it up because when I connect these, I'm got that mess up so I have to turn it once and then bring it back down like that and then I gotta turn it up here and turn it twice and then bring it down like that too to make sure I'm not messing anything up 
let's see. Okay, for the last one. Okay, now for the last two centers. The last two centers, I don't remember, they really shouldn't be that difficult, but... You know, I'm gonna mess this up a little because I had it pretty easy, so it wouldn't be as... Um... Easy to understand. Okay, you gotta make another one by three. So, let's see. Okay, I got this. Well, actually, no. For the last two centers, what I usually do is I make one by twos. Like, I make a whole bunch one by twos like this. And I already have one here. And I basically disconnect them. Like that. Being careful, I'm not messing anything up. So, I have another one by two. Like that. And... Now, this is a common case you'll run into for the last two centers. If you have one corner or edge or whatever they're called missing like this, you have to set it up like this so it needs to go right there and that needs to go there. I don't know the algorithm for this, but this is how you fix it. You just bring these two top layers up, turn it left, and then bring it down, then turn it left, bring it up, and then turn the top layer twice and then bring it back down. If you have it for the left side, it'd be basically the same thing, but opposite, so. And that's basically it. Once you get all the centers done, then you have to do edge pairing, which will be explained in part two. But if you have any questions or comment, please, um, put them in the comment box, and I'll be, I'll try to answer them. And anyway, thanks for watching. I know I'm not that great of a teacher, but I try. So, bye.